Would I be the asshole? My parents flushed my wedding fund down the toilet. Edit I'm not Monica. My brother's name is not Ross. I just heavily relate to her lol. This might be long. Sorry in advance. I have a brother and my parents are and my parents have always put my brother C above me. Since I can remember. My brother has been married three times and my parents paid for all three weddings and he's now single. When I was mid-twenties I started dating a guy and I thought we were going to get married. But unfortunately our life plans didn't work out. At that point, my parents had a wedding fund for me because I was 23 and in love. Today I found out that once we broke up, they used my wedding fund to buy a beach house. The problem? I recently got engaged to my fiancé. K and now I have no wedding fund. In case anyone is wondering. My brother's third marriage was when he was 31 and my parents footed the whole bill. I told my parents I was upset that they didn't think about my future like they thought about my brothers and they called me an R. My brother is on their side. Am I the asshole for being upset over this? I know it's sort of small. But I was hoping to have some of a wedding fund considering how expensive they are and my family is well off. My brother is on their side. No shit. He's the golden child and you're the scapegoat. Welcome to the club. Sorry. You'll have to pay for it like I did. Keep it small. And within your budget. If they start complaining that they want X more people. Tell him to pony up for those X more people or STFU. Best of luck congrats not the asshole. Not the asshole no. They aren't obligated to pay for your wedding. But I completely understand why you are upset. The good news is that you don't have to succumb to any of their wishes and you really don't even have to invite them. Have as nice a wedding as you can afford and limit contact with them. This will save you years of perpetual disappointment. This is blatant favoritism. It's easy to tell who the golden child is. It's true they're not obligated to pay for any wedding. But the imbalance here is massive. You're not the asshole for noticing and objecting to their double standards. Tell your parents that this is effectively your second wedding. Your first wedding was a beach house and you still have one paid wedding to go. It won't work. But it might give you some satisfaction to remind them of their own previous actions. Definitely don't invite your parents. Not the asshole. Don't invite him to the wedding and when they ask why. Tell them you ran out of money. Not the asshole. While they aren't obligated to pay for weddings. It is really bad that they have paid for three for your brother and left you out. When you do get married. Have someone else you are close to walk you down the aisle. Petty. But might make the point. Not the asshole. Don't invite him to your wedding. They obviously don't care about you. Not the asshole. But is your name Monica and is your brother's name Ross? Thinking face. Not the asshole. Technically your parents are not obligated to pay for your wedding but given the circumstances and three weddings for your brother I get why you're upset. I'm not Monica Geller guys. I'm truly not. I just relate to her heavily about how my brother is the golden child face holding back tears face holding back tears. Is this Monica? Parents paid for your brother's wedding to his lesbian wife. And then his British wife. And then he got married a third time in Vegas. But your wedding fund is a beach house. Maybe they'll give you the Porsche. Monica, everyone knows your brother is a medical marvel and your parents love him more.
Not the asshole for being annoyed, but you're the asshole for thinking they'll change. Just cut your losses and cut contact. Not the asshole because you're not expecting them to pay. You are just disappointed that they are going back on a promise. Especially when there was no question about paying for your brother. Even if this is simply a friend's knockoff, these types of things do happen. Figure out what's best for your own health knowing you can't trust or rely on your parents. Can you have a relationship with them without expectations? If so, do you want that? Not the asshole for being upset. You already know they don't owe you a wedding. This unfair treatment sucks. I know because I am also always last on the list between my brother, my sister and myself. I was the first to get married and didn't get or expect a dime from anyone. Not the asshole your parents suck. Feck M. Elope to a beach and get married with just the two of you. My wife and I did it 20 years ago. And we had the best wedding I've ever been to. Not the asshole your parents are playing favorites and you're obviously the child they love less. Not the asshole. But your parents kind of are. They can pay for three of your brother's weddings but not one of yours. I would be angry. Too. Your parents clearly never had any intentions to pay for your wedding not now. Not ever. If your brother decide to get married a fourth time, they'll found the money in an instant. Don't accept a dime for themselves. Not the asshole. You should calmly ask your parents why they believe it is fair they paid for three of your brothers. Weddings but are uninterested in yours. Don't let them make the conversation about you or your feelings. Keep directing them to share their feelings and rationale on treating you so differently than your brother. In a best case scenario, they'll realize they're assholes. In the worst case scenario, you'll realize they're assholes and decide LCNC is best. Not the asshole. You have every right to be upset with them over this. Three weddings vs. One. Totally unfair. I'd say it's time to go LC with them. And since they're not funding the wedding they have no say in anything about it. Including if they are invited or not. Not the asshole. Parents should really set a we only pay for one wedding per kid rule. These comments about guess you'll just have to pay for it yourself are silly. Guys she knows. It's not about that. I know Yarl is still calling her family out but knows she will have to pay and she is not. Acting entitled. Not the asshole for having an expectation that was mentioned to you and given to your brother. YTA for continuing to allow him to hurt you. They obviously don't care as much about you as your brother. So it's time to start returning that favor. Go and see as much as you can. Don't allow them into your life or wedding. Make it clear that they will not be part of your children's lives nor will you be there for them as they age. It hurts at first but sometimes pulling the band-aid off is easier than death by 1000 cuts. Not the asshole treat your kids equally or you're a shitty parent. Not the asshole for being upset and expecting the same treatment your brother got three times married. And divorced three times by 33 years if age with the last marriage lasting less than three years is absurd. Save up some money. Have your wedding. Don't invite your parents or brother. They made it clear who they care about so go along with it and be LCNC. Not the asshole. Thank your parents for making the choice to invest in your brother as now it is abundantly clear he will be the one who will be responsible for caring for them emotionally and financially as they age.